Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. And, you know, this week is um, the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. And so it's Okay, so in terms of awareness, we have the Prince of Cups and we have the world. So the Prince of Cups is um, here on his horse with his cup and not wearing his helmet. This is a potential of an offering of an opportunity to make a connection, to meet somebody, to uh, enjoy their company. It's really about the dynamic of interacting with others and having emotional uh, connections, how we find each other, we find a spark, we find a similarity or, or something that we share in common and then we're drawn to them. And so there's this Prince of Cups has the attributes of someone who is considerate, sensitive, kind, generous, and romantic. And so maybe you are in the dating game and perhaps there's a water sign in your world and that you're going out with someone who is very tender and kind-hearted and kind of dreamy. Uh, for others that are in relationships, this could be a reminder to pay attention to how you express your emotions, how you show someone that you care, how you love them, and that how we express our emotions is really important. And so this is a, this is a week to think about that to think about the dynamic of your relationships, of how you interact. So with this Prince of Cups, we have the beautiful card of the world, Major Arcana. And we see the woman here wrapped in the banner. We see the zodiac elements surrounding, and it's, it's a card of completion. It's a card of finding fulfillment and content at the end of a journey for you. A journey could be a small project, a goal, a hope, or a dream. And along the way, maybe you've had to do a lot. You've had to sacrifice. You've had to deal with things. You've learned a lot about life. And now here you are. You get to enjoy what you've done, what you've accomplished, what you've created. And so the world is, is here's this beautiful wreath. And it really is a sense of enjoying what you have accomplished. I mean, it's fulfillment, it's feeling content. And we know that when one journey ends, one cycle ends, we know that there's going to be something new, that there's a new opportunity. And as this, as you close the lid on this beautiful accomplishment of yours, your eyes are looking into what's next. What am I going to bring to the world next? And so perhaps this week you are celebrating your accomplishment, your dream that you've made happen. And now you may be thinking and considering about what's coming next. Wow. So the cups are making themselves known. The princess of cups and the two of cups. The princess of cups, this youthful energy, wanting the emotional experiences. And this could be an offering. Again, this could be the opportunity for those that are looking for a relationship. This could be that. And the opportunity here is with the two of cups. When we're looking at cups, we're looking at our emotions. We're looking at the vibrancy and the importance of how important, you know, of how um, life affirming it is to have good relationships. So here, this ethereal princess of cups here with the cup and the water and the fish. It's the offering. It's the offering to be creative. So maybe you fall in love with a new project after the world. Maybe you fall in love with a person. Maybe you're attracted to someone. 
but you're wanting to develop the emotional connection here. And then here's the two of cups, which is about, again, a truly harmonious and balanced relationship that can be transformative to your life that has meaning and substance and everything. There's depth to the relationship where you feel as if the forces above have brought you together. So it's powerful and it's meaningful. And so here we have accomplishment and fulfillment in the end of a cycle. And then we have all of this bubbling water energy of relationships and unions that are blessed and that are harmonious. So if you are in a relationship, it may be paying attention to that relationship. It may be building greater intimacy or desire or common interests, common goals of what you're going to accomplish together. If you are hoping to meet someone, it's an important process is to take people up on their offerings if they're trying to set you up with someone and to put yourself out there. You got to meet people. You know, you have to circulate in order to get the vibe and the vibe of meeting someone. So beautiful cards. Let's see what we have in terms of possible outcomes. So interesting, we have the Queen of Swords and we have Strength, Major Arcana. The Queen of Swords, the energy that she brings is, some may say a little colder and aloof and certainly not warm and fuzzy, not the emotional tender touch of a Queen of Cups. This Queen of Swords is all business, which is stick to the facts, the, the, the evidence and make your decisions based on truth and justice and fairness and um, cutting out whatever doesn't work. I tend to see it in this reading as using your smarts when you are beginning, if it, for those that are dating, being out there and using your smarts as you meet people. When we see strength as well, it's a matter of understanding that you have courage and a big heart within to deal with whatever adversity or obstacles or setbacks come your way. So possible outcomes. You may be thinking that a relationship is going in a certain direction and maybe it isn't. And that's okay. It's a process. It takes time. Use your smarts and rely on your heart and your strength and your gentleness and your compassion to help guide you. This is very gentle here. This is not forcing trying to force your hand, trying to force someone to feel a certain way about you. It's going with the flow of the cups in the first row here. This is use your smarts, be decisive. If someone that you see very clearly, you know, evidence wise that they're not a good match, then cut them out, move on. Strength again, any situation that comes to you, you may not believe it, but you do have a heart big enough and you have the love within that heart in order to be brave and to have courage and to deal with things. You know, when we deal with emotions and relationships, there is a strength of character and there's a strength of integrity as well, of being honest and authentic and presenting ourselves as we are instead of as something else. So it's just something to think about in terms of for those that are focusing on the relationship this week. So very interesting cards. Let's see what we have in terms of a weekly affirmation. And, and I would say focus on relationships, you know, loving unions here for the week. Interesting, impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. So if this happens, if you feel stuck, if you feel at a crossroads, again, it's the analysis and it's the thinking to help put you in another direction. Hmm. And finally, let's get a card on love.
Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. And it's so true. When we dream, we have the world to celebrate the accomplishment and the uh, bringing those dreams to real life. And when we dream, be in the present dream of the future, everyone has the possibility for an emotionally um, enriching and loving relationship. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.